So I'm doing this on a budget, so, uh, you know, it's fairly, you know, within within range, so it's not going to be like an Ikea get glasses play. It's going to be something relatively cheap, I guess, that, but kind of sturdy that can hold, like, action figures up. So what I did is I bought this, uh, what was it, maybe 60-inch uh, floor shelving uh, area. Got it for about 20 bucks from Walmart. If you've seen my other videos, obviously you see I have you see I have this one in the back, and it served me well for a few years. And I have another one in my kitchen, so I figured why not get another one and uh, just uh, use it specifically for my Marvel figures. So I'm um, we're going to use that, and uh, for to help along with the display, we're going to use some uh, thumbtacks. I'm going to use a lighter for uh, I'll show you what we'll do with the thumbtacks and. Uh, I'm going to use some string to suspend some figures up. So, um, yeah, let's see what I'm dealing with besides the display case. Okay, guys? So this is primarily what I'm dealing with. Uh, I'm dealing with all of my Marvel Legends from uh, the Toy Biz era to, now, to basically what I've gotten the last four months. Or actually, what is it, eight months? Uh I'm going to get back to unbox to re unboxing some of these figures and put them in a display, but it's a big, decent pile, right? So uh, we're going to probably uh, organize them by company, by uh, action figures, by, by uh, you know comic books and the films, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to suspend the figures from... Uh, the upper levels of each each shelf. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna take a lighter. I'm gonna take one of my uh, thumbtacks. I've already lit it, you know, heated up really good the metal part, and just stick it right through the plastic. It really goes in really quick, as you can see. I'm doing with the uh, Champions uh, Toy Biz Angel figure, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. You know, it looks like he's soaring or whatever. So I took a little time and just lined him up a little bit better, making him look like he's flying and, you know, facing forward. So I think it looks a lot better than it did before, am I right? So next I'm going to figure out which one of these are Toy Biz, which one of these are Hasbro, and we're going to separate them and uh, see what we can get, right? I got three different uh, organizations out of that. This is my Toy Biz Marvel Legends from back in the 2000s. Pretty solid. This are my Marvel zombie Select Spider figures. My zombie Captain America, Captain America, America, Earl America. America, as they call them. Only two I have two, from Marvel, uh, Marvel Select, Select figures. And, uh, this is and my this huge uh, pile right over here. Hasbro Marvel. Uh, These are all the Hasbro figures I've, I've gotten since, since, April. since uh, uh, Obviously, I've well, yeah, been real busy. Maybe and, uh, a, a few of the figures of Ultra's in the background. I've gotten since April. Gladiator Hulk. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking and see about putting all the stuff into a, like, we're, a we're nice display, shall we? So there it is, guys. My Marvel Legends collection. Probably took it a couple days and a lot of aggravating time making sure everything stayed upright and didn't fall down. So let's uh, take a closer look and see what each one has. Okay, so we're starting on a bottom level. These are all my Toy Biz uh, Marvel selection, Marvel characters. So obviously I put like a bunch of my Spider-Man in the front. Boy Spider-Man on that side. Got a whole bunch of figures from the, uh, the uh, Sentinel Wave. I would like to thank the Peter Parker Spider-Man for Spider-Man 2 for falling down. I appreciate that. And I got a bunch of the movies from the old Marvel movies, obviously. We have... Daredevil from movie, Daredevil from comic book on that side, so we're going to go up a level. And now we're going to go up to the uh, current uh, Marvel Legends comics figures. So you got their America Moon Knight. Looks like Dazzler's falling over. For some, for some, I have to get some uh, figure stands, obviously. But, you know, I think I did a halfway decent job with hanging up the figures. Dark Hawk right there. Beetle. Uh, Taskmaster. Uh, Whirlwind. Going up another level. 
how we're going to come up with the, MC, the MCUs. I put the Guardians of the Galaxy all together. Pretty much. Well, except for a couple of Star Lords, because I have three of them, obviously. Because, you know, obviously, if I wanted to build a figure, I wanted the Ego figure. Black Panther is behind Spider-Man. Got a bunch of the Thor Ragnaroks together. And I put, uh, in the rear, I put Daredevil and the Punisher. And then we got a couple of the, from the original Iron Man film, uh, Mark One and the Iron Monger. In the back, you have a uh, Doctor Strange Astral and Doctor Strange. I love in the back, Groot, Winter Soldier. Now we're going to go up to the top level. So, yep, this is where I put my uh, more like, I guess I'm going to call it the showcase. So, you have a uh, Zombie Spider Man and Colonel America, Gladiator uh, Hulk and Thor in the background. Little figure onslaught and little figure sentinel on the top. A couple of figures I haven't unboxed yet. We'll get to those eventually. Captain America versus Iron Man. Homemade suit Spidey versus Vulture. So yeah, um, right now that's my entire uh, Marvel Legends collection from whatever I've had. So um. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time, huh?